How's it going, everyone? Um, welcome to SEMA 2019. Uh, so this video, I'm going to show you all the ways you can walk around SEMA. I've actually never been to SEMA. This is my first time. I'm very thankful to be here. And I want to show you, we're outside right now, what's called Optima uh, Alley with all the Optima Ultimate Street cars. So I'm going to switch it around from here and show you all the cool cars. So we are going to show you out here where all the cars are at and then walk through and end near the Holly booth, uh, Holly Performance booth. So we're outside out here and this ultimate, ultimate, ultimate streetcar row is huge. And we'll go through all the cars here. So from now on, we're gonna walk all the way through the show into the Holly booth and it'll give you a good example of how large the show is. And we're only gonna go about halfway in. So if you got any comments or questions about what you've seen on on Instagram, Facebook about SEMA and wanna see it up close and personal, I'll see what I can do. I'll be able to look on the, um, looking in the comments. Yeah, we're on the uh, West Coast Pacific time, so it's only four o'clock right here. So, interesting, decent amount of Teslas, which is pretty cool. And then familiar cars as well. This Volvo was at LS Fest West, and this Camaro was LS Fest East. So, pretty cool variety of cars, but um, it's about everything. These these cars are street cars and have to be a street car, but also handle on the track and autocross as well. Yeah. So. I'm going to try and do this video from a perspective. If you weren't able to make it this year and want to experience it, I'm going to do my best to cover it here as well. So we're going to keep walking down Optima Ultimate Streetcar Alley. There's a bunch of awesome cars out here. Um, Danny Pops C5 Z06. And then this is this row. There's another row over the other side as well, which is wild. Corvettes, Mustangs. Let's take a look. That's pretty sweet. And again, we're still walking, still going down. So a Mustang, RX-7, another Tesla, Dodge Viper, Yarder. And the show's winding down. The show's actually only got another hour left, so it's still very busy, but not as busy as it, it is during the peak time. Um, pro touring trucks. It was actually we just passed an old F-150. I think there's some more up here. We'll take a look as well. Sorry about that. The wrong button. Pretty sweet. And with the variety at SEMA is awesome as well. Um, we're coming into the start of SEMA, which the start of SEMA is actually it's all like the auto refinishing paint um, kind of older body vendors. This patchy. Someone's asking about um, autocross rest of my trucks. This is the epitome of it. Man, this thing is great. And it's got Corbo seats in it as well. The engine's not, the hood's not popped, so I don't know what engine it's got, but all right. So it keeps going further and further down there, but we're going to go inside the show now. I'm going to Basically, you're gonna pretend like you were here because I'm gonna have to check my bag in here to make sure we're all safe and stuff. I just got a bunch of camera equipment. Hello. Thank you. Good to go. All right. So here we are about the end of season. This is not a. All right. So this hall here is really focused on like automotive bodywork and refinishing etc but doesn't mean there's not cool cars in here check this thing out this is rad there's a uh, sensory overload here so let's keep on going so this is real time how long it's going to take so we're at four minutes right now into the video we'll see how long it takes to get to the holly booth just walking at a normal pace and kind of give you a better understanding of how large this show actually is because I couldn't really comprehend it just watching videos at home, so hopefully this does a better job showing it. But like we're walking straight down this row here, yet it goes way deep that way and way deep that way as far as the eye can see. So let's keep on going through here. And I'm going to walk quickly through this one because not as many cars in this section, so we'll go into the section where there's more vehicles to look at. But. I'm gonna take a detour because this Porsche looks amazing over here. 
Yeah. I don't know if you can see that, but the bike paint color matches the Porsche's paint color as well. That is wild. Huh. Here's a Mustang as well. That is sweet. Right, let's keep on rolling. Making our way through here. Like here's a paint booth. You can sell paint booths. And then down here as well. I'm um, looking at the comments. Um, is there anything that you guys uh, see or have seen on social media that you want to see up close and personal? Let me know. I'll do my best to go take a look at it. Uh, in your opinion, what is your favorite car? Cars? Oh, it's tough. Oh, look at this. LSA. Oh, gotta get, stop being distracted. We gotta keep going. Um, there have been some like I guess I like everything and so I'm a I'm a big fan of clean well put together cars that don't look like they've been heavily modified but in reality have been touched extensively so and like OEM plus that's my personal vibe but then I'll change my opinion once I see a car that's completely radical and um, when we get to the Holly booth we'll look at all of the Holly cars on there as well and if you want more information on all the cars in the Holly booth this year, check out my garage on Holly. We've got all the information. So we're leaving this hall and going out into another hall right now. Um, Stradman Supra, we're literally going to walk past it here in the next uh, 20 seconds or so. So stay tuned for that. Um, Supra's biggest trends that we've seen here, in my opinion, is uh, new Supra's and uh, Jeep Gladiators. As far as volume of those cars here, that's the biggest that I've seen so far. Yep, so Shredman Super is right up here. It's uh, sporting the purple color. And there's a decent amount of people around it, but we'll be able to get a good view of it. Yeah, like it goes further down this way, but we're walking that way. Here it is. It's got some nice spotlights on it, but it's a matte purple color with a wide body kit on it. It's pretty cool. And now we're getting to some serious cars here. The lighting, the lighting in here is great. That thing is immaculate. That paint is perfect. Man. You got that and then look, you got a like, trophy truck right next to it. The variety here is really awesome to see. So we're still walking through. We haven't even made it into the hall that uh, Holly is in. So we're pretty close to it. Uh, let me take the comments real quick. Uh, B is for build. Yeah, if we can make it there, we will because it's sort of close to Holly. Uh, yep. Uh, yep, B is for build. All right, we can stop by. Hi. Hi. And last connection, we just came through here to the hall that Holly is in. Um, doo -doo -doo. All right, so we're in coming in here. This is the Ford Performance booth. It's massive. It goes all the way down. Um, we could spend a whole hour here. Um, there's a bunch of trucks on this side. Mustangs are on the other side as well. And then this is a good look. This is just one hall. This is massive in here. And there's three or four more of these. Um, it, and you could spend days here and not cover everything. But let's keep going. So the, again, the variety here is great. You got a Volvo station wagon looking sweet. Then you got an Icon uh, old uh, Toyota FJ looking sweet. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this is a lot more cars. All right, check out this Rampage. So this to me is a favorite based on the style that I like. It's somewhat subtle. You don't, it's nice. It's got a nice orange paint job and it. it's got a good wheel fitment, some off-the-market headlights. It looks very clean, but then you come to the back and boom, hit, hit heavy. This is incredible how clean this build is. It is 
one of my favorites here. Hopefully this is a good view of it right here. But let's take a look at the interior as well. It's very well put together. And unassuming here, but then party in the back. It's kind of, kind of my vibe. All right, let's keep on moving. Let me check the comments again. So we'll stop at the Holly booth right now, but I've got so many requests. Oh, sweet. Woo. What happened there? It just flipped. I have not moved. We are still we're back. Oh man. All right, we're back. Uh, for those of you that still stick around, appreciate it. So I walked maybe 10 feet. So we are now in the Holly booth. And I'm going to go over all the cards just briefly. So I don't know what year challenge this is, but it's pretty nasty. And it's got this beautiful maroon color, which fades into this wrap, which just seamlessly fades into it. It's great. Um, so you, those that are still there, we're going to look around the Holly booth and then also go take a look at some other cars in this hall as well. All right. So this is Alex Taylor's Camaro. This thing is incredibly clean. Hopefully that shows good on the camera. Let's go take a look. Some spinny boys underneath here. Very well set up. It's a very quick car. Shout out to Alex Taylor. Go check her out on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. All right, moving on. Let's take a look. This, this has been a crowd uh, stopper, crowd pleaser. This is the third gen IROC Z from Detroit Speed. Detroit Speed Z. It is very tastefully done. It's like that wing is an extension that they've custom made, obviously, but it follows OEM lines. I'm a big fan of that. And sporting our MSD Atomic Air Force intake manifold. This looks great in Holly year five. This, this is, is a screamer. It's a high revving LS engine in here. And it looks great. Builder and build. We see up here quite frequently as well, too. Always love the big ring. All right. Moving on. So they just released this. This is a Ring Brothers build Mustang. It is incredibly clean. And just the attention to detail on this is incredible. This build was meant to. Let's take a look at the interior on this. It's incredible. Um, Pro Dash, Tony, check out Devin's, um, I don't know, Devin B's YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed to it. He does a bunch of technical videos. Um, I'll show, I'll, I can share a link with in the description of this. This is finished out of those videos. But this Mustang is incredible. And what's great about the Holly booth this year is we're combining all of our brands into one booth. So we've got a great collection of vehicles in here. I, I'm a huge fan of this. So this M2 is very tastefully modified. It's a Dynan, got a whole bunch of Dynan products on it. My favorite thing about this is it has a manual transmission still, which got to save the manuals. Very well sorted car. Lots of, lots and lots of carbon fiber. Um, Tony, I'll, I'll talk to Devin. We can talk to Devin about maybe making a video or making it ourselves. That's a good idea. Thanks for letting us know. All right. Man, look at this. What a great looking car. And then, moving on, this is a full carbon fiber wide body 240. See, it is incredible. It's so well put together, and it, it made an appearance at LS Fest East this year. But let's take a look at this. This is a true time attack setup car. And this has got a 12 inch, one about 12 inch Pro Dash in here as well. The video quality not good. It, it booted me off earlier, so we'll put out another video, I think, as well. 
Let me know if the video quality improves. It's probably 60,000. I don't know the exact number, but it's, it's, this is a massive show, so kind of people using cell phones in here. And here we've got trophy truck set up. Again, this is all in the Holly booth, so we've got a great variety of cars in here. Take a look inside. That is sweet. The super chips cheap? Yeah, I think it was, yeah. This thing is incredible. These older body style F-150s, man, they are growing on me. This one's got a LS in it. King shocks. Keep me tech. And then, yep, this is the Super Chips JL. Um, if you're not familiar, tuning these is rather tough, uh, but Super Chips has come out with an awesome solution, uh, the Pulsar. So what's going to go on here is the stock ECU is right here, and then you have the inline unit which plugs into the stock ECU, then all the wires connect to it, which enables you to do advanced tuning on these without having to send away the ECU or anything like that. It's a really good product. And this Jeep looks amazing too. It's very well set up in here. So those are the cars um, from the Holly booth. You can check all of these out on holly.com slash garage for my garage. We've got, on for this week, we've got all the SEMA vehicles on there and then they'll always be on there. You can always search for them the, looking up the make model information on them. But let's go take a look at some other vehicles while we still got some time. I'm going to make my way down to the biggest of build, LS swapped Lambo. Um, if it was, I saw it earlier today and there was a massive crowd, so hopefully it's not a big of a crowd so we can get some better shots of it. But as far as the eye can see, the show goes. Super clean. Again, let me know. Let me know if there's any cars you want to see, but right now I'm heading towards the Vista Build Lamborghini. Yeah, hopefully this is a good representation of how big the show is and what's going on here. It's a trade-only show, so you have to. It's not open to general spectators. You have to be in the industry, working automotive performance shop, automotive detailing, etc. Um, either selling as a vendor here or looking to buy. That's how you, it's a trade show for people that work in the trade of automotive, but we'll get you some good content if you're not able to make it. So like, again, this is just one hallway. You can go all the way to the left if you wanted to. But I believe the Lamborghini is up here. But before we stop there, uh, Chevrolet Performance Boots, we're gonna walk past it, so we'll take a quick look before we do that. It's just a casual Ford GT hanging out, no big deal. Those are great looking cars. Alright, moving forward. Uh, the engines have bedazzled. Look at that fan. Oh man. Some shiny, shiny boys right there. Alright, take a quick glance here. This is the Chevrolet Performance. Um, this car, this is a C10, and they've dubbed this as the E10 because this is all electronic. And what's neat about this is it uses a transmission still. Like, this like I don't know what transmission it has, but it has an automatic transmission in this car. And it's the E10. There you go, the E10. This thing uses all. There was, I was talking to an engineer earlier about it. It uses all OEM components. So this is all Chevrolet Bolt. So they've got two Chevrolet Bolt electric uh, batteries in the back here. So there's one on top and one below. And then what's neat is the, the engine is tucked away underneath, but on top, all the components are 
separated into a V to make it look like a V8 in here. Get out of the way there, buddy. Which looks <laughs> great. All right, moving on. Um, if I can, I'll take a look real quick. There's uh, the C8R um, is over here. I'll take a quick glance. Uh, the resolution isn't that good. What I'm probably going to do is I might do this again tomorrow. I've gotten all the feedback on here. Leave, leave us comments on Facebook, Instagram, and on this video about what vehicles you want to see. And we'll, we'll upload a high quality video. C8R. It's a work of art. And then a bunch of engines on display. Engine, engine heaven in here. I feel like Galassus. All right, let's keep going. Uh, we're getting real close to the these revealed Lamborghinis right up here. Let's take a look over here. The, the fresh C10 right there. Some more engines. All right. Here we are. So this is the Garrett Turbo booth. They are featuring the BS for Build Lamborghini, which you can see on the BS for Build YouTube channel. Let's get up close and personal with this if we can. There's a lot of hype over here about this vehicle. Let's see. Just gotta find our way in here. Oh, got a path. Place trails. Here she is. And the business is in the back here. This is a twin turbo LS in the back of this Lamborghini. This is wild. I got a good angle here. Shows you how incredible this is. What was the what was the finish like close up? It's pretty good. It's not like it looks very good. As the man himself explaining this car to everyone. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. We'll take a shot from the front and keep on moving. That's great. All right. If we like that. We we'll take a look at some more vehicles over here. Watch it come down. Oh, what's hiding behind this wall? Oh, I'm saying a big old supercharger. Run with that. Uh, Gladiator. Running the supercharger as well. That's pretty cool. Again, the, the variety of cars here is pretty neat. Got a low rider, and you got a drag car right here. Like, so this is just one hole that we've walked in down one lane. It goes further right and further left. So hopefully this is a good showing of how big this show is. A nice Mustang here. Um, <laughs> One of my favorite uh, liveries on a car is around the corner over here. It's a really fresh Bronco. Taking a look over here. Oh, I'm getting lost myself. There is a Volkswagen here, it's an APRs. Red? Oh, no problem. Um, check out our Facebook and Instagram for on the story specifically. If we'd, we've gone over a bunch of the show, but wanted to give a kind of real, real live glimpse of what the show's like here. Man, I have lost the car. I think it's further down here. I'm looking for a specific super, but if I can't find that specific super, I'll show you a bunch of others. Brake options here as well. 
Oh yeah, no problem. It's very clean. Man, I've lost that car. It's a Fortunato's booth. Helps out with the LSFS. Uh, man, that looks great. Like I said, you could you could spend days in here and not cover everything and get lost and overwhelmed. But uh, like I mentioned, the big thing of the show, as far as my opinion goes, has been lots of supers and lots of Jeep gladiators. Yeah, this is the Porter's booth. Got a bunch. Supers out here. Oh yeah, such a long walk. This is we're 21 minutes into this, and we've only covered a quarter of this one hole. And there's three other holes, I believe. If you're walking the show, you're probably walking 20 miles a day, which is no joke. But I'm gonna wrap around and back to Holly, and we'll end, we'll end it at Holly. So another couple more minutes. That is beautiful. That's very clean. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, four rotor. I think that's outside. That would, literally would probably take me 20 minutes just to walk to it. Um, I'll see what I can do if I can put it in the Instagram story or Facebook story. So check it out there for sure. That's a Holly performance. Man. Racing junk. I know some of you guys like racing junk a lot. Look at this Porsche. I haven't seen this yet, and I've walked around this side of the hall many a time, but again, it's, it's almost impossible to cover everything. Look at that. Yeah, the forward is outside, I believe. But I might go out there this evening or tomorrow, so ch check out the Instagram and Facebook stories on how like performance. For other content. Another theme, this man, this camera does a crazy job of showing it. A lot of rich, I don't know how to describe it, a lot of rich paint colors schemes. This makes it look a whole lot brighter than it is in real life. It's a lot deeper and darker. Let me see if I can. No. It's, a lot of these paint schemes have just this deep, deep, rich colors. Super. That's pretty bad. That's pretty cool as well. If any of you guys want to get me one of these cars, just let me know and I'll be happy to drive it for you if you want to give it to me. <laughs> Look at this. Man, this color combo. I'm a huge fan of. This uh, this truck is being on Hoonigan. Let's take a look at the engine bay. That's a whole lot of boost. Bunch, bunch of stuff in the bed. Jeep that is tricked out. Yeah, we're coming around the other, the other side of Chevrolet Performance, which we were at earlier. It's a great looking Mustang in here. That's very clean. Again, the other side of the Chevrolet Performance area. Oh. Um, this is in the Instagram story. Um, check out this drag car. It is wild. It looks kind of like a sand rail. It's just the angles on it are different, and I'll show you why here in a second. Um, this, this bad boy's got Holly EFI on it as well. Rad. But, man, 
the, the color of the paint job on this is incredible but look at this this is a two-seater crazy drag car got race back dash in it as well but it is wild what a cool looking car and then all right looking very very mean very very cool uh, Wagoneer here. This is uh, set up like a camp camp scene in here. Uh, the variety here, like I've mentioned, is very cool. Oh, look at that fire. Watch out. I don't know if that's real or not. Yeah, look at this. We got an old Chevy pickup truck. Slam. Right next to a new super wide body. The variety here, hopefully that's a good testament of the variety that's at the show, which is great to see. <laughs> Another clamp. Yeah. Not every day you see those two vehicles next to each other. Yeah, the two-seater bucket. I can see that for sure. Yeah, like, look at this. That is incredibly clean. Well, even the inside's clean as well. That's great. There's a couple of cars over here as well. Let's take a look. By the way. Yeah. Another again, another super. Wide body. Let's look at this scout. Oh man, look at this. This is a lowered scout. The color combo one I love. I mean, this is all custom. That grill and headlight situation looks like it's completely custom. Oh yeah, it's got flat interior too. That was great. Hunt Supra. I don't know where that's at. I have not. Oh, it, it might be in the Toyo area, but I have not been over there yet. There's E30 right here. This looks pretty serious. Oh man, yeah. It's carpet interior as well, that's very clean. What engine does this have? Oh! My Lanta, look at that. So much so. That is wild. That is pretty cool. Oh, where are we? Let's keep on going. Um, yeah, look at this off road pre runner. Look at that. That is super cool. black one was? Oh, it was. Let's go take a look. Okay. I'm coming back to this black Supra. Real quick, past the cool scout. Oh, yep, it sure is. That's cool. Yeah, so this is TJ Hunt. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's great. Oh, thanks for liking and subscribing. We, we try to put out some cool stuff and hope you guys are enjoying this. Man, this is a very well executed wide body. Kudos to you, sir, to you, sir. Look, look at the dish. Sure, let's look at it. Here's a good representation. What's going on here? That's my hand. That's a wide boy right there. So then I'll look at from the front. Whoa, that was great. Cool. Whoever called that out, thank you. Tim, thank you for that call heads up. So pretty mean little spooly boy down there. Oh, not one, he's got a brother too. Cool. It's a RX7 up here.
Man, look at that. That's wild. Hopefully the camera does its justice. That's a crazy color. I dig it. That's a crazy color. I dig it. What is this? I don't know. Let me see if I can get a different angle on this to show you the angle of that. Man, I don't think the video does this justice of how crazy of an angle that cabin is. That's very cool. Now let's keep on going. Let's see if we can find some more cool cars. Someone's jamming over there. This time, a little tent up here. I might go up here and take a nap later. Just kidding. Oh. This is Bronco over here. I have a little soft spot for. Oh, is that a. Look at this. Motor Trend booth. Oh man, look at this. Uh, I got a soft spot for these. The back section here, most of these, notice how it's flat there and the front's curved. Uh, most people cut them to put bigger tires on it, but when they're not cut, it's called uncut Bronco. But you can still lift them as is. Very clean. Yeah, so great. It's Ford in here. Uh, yep, it's got a sniper. You fly on it. Probably air filter. That's very nice. Five days. Build this. Oh, you're welcome. If, uh, I'm going to check this out to see how the quality looks afterwards, but if it's good, we'll do more of this, because this is I've literally only covered 10% of the show. Yep. Yeah, nice and clean. Let's see, is there any cars down here? Nope. More. Oh. Check out the Celica. Pretty cool. Um, color combo, it's kind of flat, kind of uh, vintage looking. The interior. That's great. Um, engine, I'm going to go look at the engine here in a second. Uh, kind of less in there. We've got a crazy exhaust setup as well. Alright, oh, whoa, look at this. This is very, very clean. Yep, the camera does, I think, a good job of showing how clean this is. Blue interior. That is nice. <laughs> Um, I've got time. If you guys want, I'm gonna go up to the Ford Performance booth and show you a vehicle up there that it's tip of my fancy. Um, we've got cars in. You can test out the seats here. That's very clean. Yeah, yeah. This. Uh, I think it's. I don't know. I don't know the exact count, but it's massive here, so the, the fact that we're able to actually get some footage is great. Sorry, it's not the best. We'll look to put out some better content, better quality content here shortly. But there's some good quality stuff on the Instagram and Facebook right now as well. All right, let's hop up the stairs. Whoop, don't fall over. Oh, yeah. Here's another Bronco. This is in the Ford Performance booth. It is immaculate. Uncut as well. It uh, has an early grill on it. It's like a supercharger up there. Man, oh man. That is nice. 
Right, let's keep going on. Another GT. like a regular Mustang from out front. It's electronic. Battery operated. Lithium. Project Lithium. What's neat, what's really neat about this here, you got the setup over here to display the battery and motor. That's what the motor setup's looking like. Battery. What the cool factor of this is, is it has an electric motor where the total combustion engine was, but has a manual transmission in this, which with that amount of electronic torque with a manual would be wild. So this is a, I don't know if it's a prototype or not, it's just a kind of a SEMA build, but I'd be kind of curious to see what comes out of this. And so like, we just walked maybe, maybe 15% of the show in my opinion. Um, it goes on and on and on down that way for miles or two. It goes on to the right further. But our holly boost is right over here. So we'll come down there and wrap it up. All right. So I'm, I'm kind of tired. We've been walking this entire time. Um, hopefully you guys like that. If you want, check out Facebook and Instagram for more content, hopefully a little bit better quality, just not live. I might do a live video that tomorrow as well. But. And with that, I'll end with the Holly booth here. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. Be sure to comment and subscribe. And, and it's about closing time here, another 10 minutes, and then the show's going to be finished. But this is the cover photo for the video. I'll end with this. Very clean. Thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to subscribe, share with your friends, and uh, let us know what you thought about this. Thanks a lot. Peace out.